Larry Wills one week out of his classic physique debut, Derek Lunsford and Mr. Beast collab, and why is Phil Heath so big again? What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for another bodybuilding news video, and let's kick it off with updates from Phil Heath, seven-time Mr. Olympia, looking pretty damn awesome, and he had a pretty cool update with this one as well. And he says, I had such an incredible time in Apiro, Italy last week with Rudy Panada, founder and owner of Panada Official, a worldwide fitness company. Every day I tra trained with Rudy and every day was extremely challenging as he put me through a different pace of training that put my body in a state of growth I hadn't seen in years. What made this even more awesome was his ability to train with me and to be honest, keeping up if not outworking me in some exercises at 73 years young. Uh, then he goes on to talk a little bit more about uh, Rudy and what he had to say. And then he says, Rudy made me realize that I should never stop being Mr. Olympia, regardless if I step on stage. After the 2020 Olympia, I decided to train less. And for at least three years, I've not trained consistent, consistently for more than a week. It's chipped away at my mental clarity, stamina, and also has made me feel incomplete. And then he goes on to talk about a few other things as well. And he says, it definitely changed him a lot. It seems like it's changed his physique a lot as well. Now, Phil never looks bad. Like there's never a stage where I'm like, oh, Phil's lost all his muscle or he's shrunk right down. Yeah, initially when he lost a bit of that muscle after the 2020 Olympia, he definitely shrank down. But that's sort of to be expected, cleaning out all that sort of stuff. But Phil is looking big again and Phil never looks super crazy impressive in his off season. So if you told me this was his off season from 2019, 2018, 2017 or anything like that, I would have gone, yeah, Phil's looking pretty big in his off season and not thought twice about it. So... For Phil to look like this when he's not, you know, complain or anything like that is pretty impressive. And I'd love to see what this would look like if he just got lean. So Phil trained consistently for more than a week and put a few of those weeks together. It's scary what Phil Heath could actually do. And that's why I think Phil could make a comeback and make a pretty successful one because his midsection definitely does look better in the last lot of updates we saw. But let me know in the comments, do you think Phil can make a successful comeback? He's seeming to love training and maybe the reason he hasn't decided to come back is just because he hasn't got his training consistent for a long period of time for whatever reason so cool to see phil heath looking awesome and hopefully he does make a comeback to that bodybuilding stage i know some of you hate me talking about it so i'll stop all that talk right now now let's get on to some mr olympia physique updates and we've got jay hun park who's looking awesome here won the texas pro in the classic physique he beat Logan Franklin, uh, Robert Timms, looked really damn good there, deserved the win, and I think he's gunning for the top 10 at this year's Classic Physique Olympia, and I definitely think he can make it happen. Now we head over to the Men's Physique with an update here from former Men's Physique Olympia champion in Brandon Hendrickson. You look at that physique and you're like, that's probably what you'd want to look like. That's just a crazy, awesome waist and set of abs. Chest is wide enough, pretty good, pretty good shoulder structure in terms of width. Good arms. There's really nothing missing on this guy's physique. He looks amazing. And then you move on to Jeremy Potvin, who's looking really good here as well. Jeremy, maybe not quite as thick overall. A shorter guy, so when he's standing by himself, he looks big enough. But I think standing next to a few of these other guys, he might be slightly out-muscled, but still a top guy in the men's physique. And then you've got Jeremy Bundia here, who looks absolutely insane. It's a really close-up physique update. But it goes to show how small this dude's waist is, how much rounder and more muscular he's gotten over the past however many months it's been now. And uh, very, very impressive. And he's definitely on target to win his fifth ever classic, uh, sorry, men's physique Olympia title. I'm so used to covering classic instead of men's physique. But he's looking really, really damn good. And I'm looking forward to seeing his return to the stage and if he can win that men's physique Olympia title. And now looking the way he looked and not being a guy that's really high in body fat, to go into competing classic physique. You know, previously he did bodybuilding. Uh, he's been able to do a lot of things and doing pretty well. And people say he's not going to do well as a pro and things like that in the classic physique. But honestly, he could turn pro. And that's a lot more than a lot of people can say. And could he do well in pro contests? I'm not sure. He needs to bring up the legs, definitely. He needs to, you know, get the abs a bit tighter. So maybe eventually he could, if he's able to make those improvements. But overall, I think Larry Wills is doing 
pretty good in terms of the way he's looking. And I don't think he has any ambitions of beating a Chris Bumstead or anything like that anytime soon. Now we head to the open. We've got an update here from Baruz to Barney. And the word is from Baruz that he's got to wait, I think it's about five or six days now, to get his answer if he'll be able to enter the US and compete in the 2023 Mr. Olympia. I think this is a top 10 guy in the Olympia. He just comes in so shredded. He's got a great level of muscularity. He's not looking ultra shredded here from a back, but overall, I think he's looking very good and he's going to do very well if he's able to make it into the US. This is his third attempt at getting his visa this prep as well. So hopefully, third time lucky for Baruz and we see him up there in the Olympia and in the top 10 because this guy definitely deserves it. Now, we've got an update here from a guy who's competing against, Antonio Burton. And Antonio's muscle is just, just different. Like it is just so round, so bubbly, while still being so dense. It really is that Dexter Jackson sort of reincarnated look and very excited for Tony O'Burton's Olympia. Well, not his open Olympia debut. I actually said that in another video for him continuing what he's doing at the Mr. Olympia and hopefully climbing up the rankings. And obviously this past year winning some shows. So hopefully he's able to get up there and get himself into the top 10. Now, Derek Lunsford here with Mr. Beast. This sort of blew my mind because Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber on the planet. Derek Lunsford's been doing a lot of YouTube lately. Whether this is coincidental that he saw Mr. Beast in the MI40 gym out there in Florida or if this was planned, but he said, great catching up with Mr. Beast. And then at the bottom, this is what sort of piqued my interest. He said, looking forward to our training soon. So I messaged Derek and I'm like, is there going to be something on your YouTube channel, his YouTube channel? And he said, not sure yet. So we don't know if there's going to be a full on collab, but I'm sure there'll be content made out of this. Mr. Beast is smart, you know, potentially Derek Lunsford is going to be Mr. Olympia. And if he puts up, you know, YouTube shorts training with Mr. Olympia and things like that, and he is actually doing a bodybuilding contest against another YouTuber, I believe it's on January 1st. And they're both training, I think like, you know, every planned training day of, I don't know if it's four or five days a week they're making sure they go to the gym, they're not missing one. So it's really cool to see Mr. Beast getting into uh, bodybuilding and a fitness lifestyle and all that sort of stuff. He's hugely influential. Um, he posts a video, it gets hundreds of millions of views, almost guaranteed. He's that popular and that famous. So if Derek Lunsford actually features on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel, this could be a huge boost for Derek Lunsford. And please, Mr. Beast, come into bodybuilding, help us grow, make it huge. But uh Good to see, and uh, I'm looking forward to following whether this Mr. Beast bodybuilding competition is going to be on stage or something like that. I'd love to see the IFB get involved, but anyway, uh, cool to see that collaboration. Hopefully, we see something on Derek Lunsford or Mr. Beast channel soon. Now, we also have here a before and after of Derek Lunsford. Now, obviously, completely different lighting. One is the Mr. Olympia stage from last year on the left. But if we get half of this improvement to what we see on the right two weeks out of the 2023 Mr. Olympia in terms of what it looks like on stage, I think we're going to see our 2023 Mr. Olympia champion because Derek Lunsford stole points off Hardy last year. It's been mentioned by myself and other uh, YouTubers and Jay Cutler. And if he stole points off Hardy last year and he improves a decent amount, it's hard to imagine Derek Lunsford losing this year's Mr. Olympia unless Hardy comes in with another level of conditioning because Hardy last year I thought could have been harder from a back. And even from the front, he's been harder in previous years, although he was so full that the hardness did see him to appear to be there. And he was much harder than Derek Lunsford from the front. But Derek Lunsford, no doubt, is going to win the back shots. And if he obliterates the back shots, comes pretty close, 50-50 on the front shots, and then to say he loses some of those side shots, but they're close enough, then Derek Lunsford, I think, is a Mr. Olympia champion in 2023. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. And we've got another guy that's won the Olympia in the past in 2019 in Brandon Curry. This being posted up actually by King Kamali. I don't know if he's the first to post it or if he just saw it and reshared it. But Brandon's looking damn good, really bringing the aesthetics back to the stage. And I'm very interested to see how hard Brandon looks on stage and how big he looks as well once he's filled out properly. But that side tricep is just so extremely aesthetic. It's almost like a sort of Roden-esque side tricep, but with bigger triceps and bigger arms. So very excited for Brandon Curry. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like on stage. And while the updates maybe don't look as crazy as like those last Derek Lunsford ones with the lat spread and whatnot, this is maybe not in the exact same lighting. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, what they look like once they're on stage and 
see if Brandon Curry looks bigger than Derek or if Derek looks bigger than Brandon, see how it all sort of plays out. But uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Brandon Curry has a chance to win the 2023 Mr. Olympia or do you think it'll be Derek Lunsford or any one of these other guys? And I put a poll up and most of you guys have Derek Lunsford winning the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And I was sort of surprised by how one-sided it was, but it is obviously my opinion. I would have voted for Derek Lunsford on this poll too. And just so you guys know as well, I pretty much took the three guys that were the most picked to win the Mr. Olympia from everything I've seen online. And then I just grouped all the other guys together. And because it, it only lets you do four options on one of these polls. So just uh, giving you guys the reason why anyway. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button. And if you want to follow all my 2023 Mr. Olympia coverage, subscribe, hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out.